Kavita Oberoi, yes. welcome again to the University of Huddersfield. Kavita, you attribute your entrepreneurial spirit uh, to your father. How's that? What did he well, do? Well, my father came over to England in the 1960s with absolutely nothing, and his mission was to provide for his family and set up a business. He was um, a very, very clever, uh, clever man, and he came over here and he watched somebody plumb a bath. And from there, he decided he was going to set up a plumbing business. He actually didn't ever want to do anything with his hands, but all with his brain. So he um, got his brother over from India, who did all the um, handiwork while he masterminded the business. And that business is now third generation. So I think I owe my entrepreneurial spirit to my father. But um, my mother was the one, really, I think I, I owe my real success to. In what way? Well, um, you know, uh, fa my father was a businessman, but very, very traditional. So in our family, men went out to work and women stayed in the kitchen and um, provided for their family in the kitchen and uh, got married at a very early age. So the expected route was for me to have an arranged marriage at a very young age, about 15, 16, and uh, be a housewife. Um, my father died when I was 15 and, um, and my mother... Um, decided, you know, I, I was always one who was pushing the boundaries. I was one of four children, so I had an older sister, my, a brother, I was number three, and I had a younger brother. My sister followed that route, but um, I was always very curious and wanting to learn, um, and uh, I think she recognised that and really pushed for my education, despite all the family barrage that, you know, girls shouldn't be educated. I wanted to do, I actually wanted to be a doctor, I wanted to do medicine. But that was never going to be allowed because it was six years and um, by the time I'd be finished I would be about 23, so I needed a shorter course. Um, Huddersfield was um, uh, quite attractive to me because uh, uh, one of the, of the distance, but also um, I was you know, passionate about um, chemistry and the fact that it had uh, a year out in industry, which I thought would be uh, quite good to do as part of my degree. Where did you do your year out? I went to ICI at the time in Huddersfield. It I loved my year out, but um, you know that is when I thought, when I finish my degree, I need to get back um, in front of doctors. Throughout my period of um, studying here at Huddersfield, I used to have a Saturday job at Richards in Bradford. So every Saturday I'd be there, um, and so I was always a salesperson. So that's when I went into medical sales straight after my degree. You still enjoy inspiring young people today, because I believe that uh, uh, you have a role uh, with the World Association of Girl Guides and Girl Scouts. What's that role? My role is fundraising, fundraising £10 million to empower women globally, to give them the opportunities of education and learning because I believe that, you know, especially women, if they are given an opportunity very early to learn, um, it can be very lifelong and it can affect communities, as it happened for myself. So, you know, I got behind the, uh, the role of fundraising and we're now on to four million. Just going back to Huddersfield when you were here uh, originally, what was your most memorable time? What stood out for you most? I was, uh, I, I think I was part of um, something to do with the uh, Sports and Asian Society and I organised a pool competition. And um, I, um, I remember running that and putting up all the posters everywhere and then getting to the finals and I am very competitive, I needed to win. And it's a long story, but it just so happens that my husband also was, came from Huddersfield University, arranged marriage completely, but he beat me. Oh, so Have you forgiven him? Those trophies are in our house. <laughs> They're still there. They're still there. <laughs> so you haven't forgiven him then? No. Uh, <laughs> Kavita Oberoi, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. The University of Huddersfield, inspiring tomorrow's professionals.